Have you ever wondered who is the most Scorpio of all of the Scorpio placements? If you want to hear the answer to that question, then you came to the right channel. Hi guys, my name is Denise and I'm an astrologer, but when I'm not doing readings, I like to make useful videos to help people incorporate astrology into their everyday life. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of a learning. We're going to learn the difference between, say, the sun in Scorpio versus the moon in Scorpio versus Mars versus Venus in Scorpio. We're going to have a little bit of a battle between all the Scorpio placements and figure out who is the most Scorpio of all the Scorpios. Okay, so first of all, we just we want to say that the difference between say a sun in scorpio and a moon in scorpio is very obvious so whenever you take a masculine a yang planet those planets like mars and the sun those are going to be very visible representations of the signs so when you think about a scorpio person a scorpio sun person they're going to be quite different than a scorpio moon person because the moon is a very hidden part of ourselves unless you have like the moon in the first house or if you have some type of the moon on the midheaven for example but the moon and Scorpio is going to be very reserved because it's just very intense. It's very dark. The feelings are very hidden, but they're definitely there. So when you have the sun in Scorpio, as I said, it's a very masculine, visible placement for the sun, right? So people that have a Scorpio sun are going to be very visibly Scorpio. These are the people that you're going to want to have tattoos, that are going to want to live life on the edge. They're going to play a lot with themes of death. These are the kind of people that are attracted to a lot of adrenaline, but not in an Aries way, in a more serious way. So I find that people with Sun in Scorpio are attracted to maybe dangerous lifestyles, like they can go through periods of maybe experimenting with drugs or alcohol or really living life on the edge. And that line between like life and death and flirting with it is very important for those Scorpio people because they themselves want to embody the intensity that we associate with, with the sign of Scorpio. So they want to have kind of like their Scorpio street cred, you will not find a Scorpio sun person who hasn't broken a couple of rules along the way. That's what I've noticed from Scorpio sun people. And the same goes for Mars. Mars is a little bit more methodical because of Mars is the way that you get things done. And the Scorpio Mars person is going to have a methodical way of doing things because they're concerned with accomplishing things in order to get power because whenever you're talking about Scorpio you're always gonna be talking about power so Scorpio Mars, Mars people might be a little bit less obviously Scorpio but it's just like it's a nocturnal planet so it is very subdued like the way that we notice it but the energy is very intense and then you have the moon in Scorpio my favorite placement of them all so the moon in Scorpio is take all of that intensity that Scorpio Sun displays but turn that inwards put it inside of yourself and that is the way that Scorpio moon people feel they feel all of that intensity but they keep it inside of themselves because Scorpio is a is a sign that isn't very expressive but they have a lot of feelings but they don't want to talk about them and the Scorpio Sun might talk about their intense feelings they might talk about their passion in a way that is way more open than the moon because the moon is the part of ourselves that we kind of like to keep protected because it is so vulnerable so the Scorpio moon is going to keep all of that intensity inside of themselves and they're gonna save it for a few lucky people who get to experience it and they have all of that intensity intensity but it's inside and so I think when we think of when we think of Scorpio really and Venus I forgot Venus so Venus again Venus is a nocturnal planet as well and Venus is going to be more subdued as well because it is feminine so you're not gonna see it as visibly as say the Sun the Sun is gonna be like the tattoos and like the leather jackets and living very intensely and Scorpio Venus is like attracted to all of those things they're attracted to all of the things that are Scorpio but I mean if it's a woman she might adorn herself in a Scorpio way because Venus can be the way that you adorn yourself the way that you do your makeup you know your black eyeliner might be more Scorpio Venus and 
but it's, but it's going to be lighter. Nonetheless, you're still going to be attracted to those things, but you might not live those things because Venus is a feminine light planet. So Venus is going to mean that you might be attracted to maybe works of art that are very Scorpio. Music, anything that connects you with Venus, beauty, um, art, all of those things in a way that is Scorpio. So with maybe darker themes of passion and like dark love, you're gonna be attracted to that, but you're not gonna like have a period where you're gonna do drugs most likely because that is more living. That Because remember that the sun is your vitality. So the things that affect your vitality are the things that affect your life. So again, the Scorpio sun has more of a tendency to experience like dangerous life situations or intense life situations that are physical as opposed to the moon that is more likely to experience the emotions that are associated with that. Also the Scorpio moon is associated with um, the mother and having a mother who herself experienced abuse or maybe is abusive herself. So abuse is one of those things that I don't really stress too much in the chart because I never want to, to one, I never want to pry and I never want to make somebody feel uncomfortable and I also don't like to accuse parents of things because I don't know, I'm, I'm protective of my parents and I would never like to offend somebody by like talking shit about their parents. But Scorpio moon is associated with a mother who experienced trauma herself because the moon is your mother is one way of seeing the mother in the chart and the sign of Scorpio is associated with darkness and going through hell and trauma essentially so if you have a mother who has been through that then that is going to affect you and because of it because you are learning emotions from your mother then you are picking up this darkness and this intensity of emotions because essentially your mother and or you know or the nurturing parent but it does tend to be the mom you are picking up the way that you should display your emotions because that's where it's also the fourth house you know the moon is also associated with the fourth house that is where you're learning how to feel and how it's okay to feel and to emote these feelings that you're having. So all of this intense Scorpio situation is going to be happening inside when you're a Scorpio moon. And when you're a Scorpio sun, that is your vitality, that's the father. Maybe you know you had a father that was very intense and Scorpio-like. It's not always the case because you know, the parents, there's more than one way to find the parents in the chart. It could be the sun and moon, it could be Saturn, it could be the fourth house and the tenth house, you know, it just, it, de it depends. There isn't just like one straight answer for that. But nonetheless, as I said, the moon is going to deal more with your emotions and the types of relationships that you're attracted to has a lot to do with Scorpio. Whereas all of the... Mars in Scorpio, Moon in Scorpio, Sun in Scorpio, and Venus in Scorpio, they're all going to be jealous. They're all going to be jealous, jealous regardless in relationships. But the Moon, because the Moon is your feelings and your instincts, then this is really going to affect your relationship. So I would say that the Moon in Scorpio tends to be the most emotionally jealous of the placements because um, the archetype of the mother and cancer, cancer is a very jealous sign. You know, they want their little baby to be theirs and they don't like to share their baby with anybody else. So the, take that archetype of the mother, which is the moon, cancer, and apply it to Scorpio. So they are very much jealous, emotionally jealous. And the Scorpio sun might also be jealous and they might express it more because the moon as we said it is more subdued and she keeps it inside but she feels all of these things and remember that when when you don't express something it just like it, it grows and it grows and it's building pressure okay so Scorpio moon people essentially what they're doing is they're keeping all of these emotions inside of themselves for like years and years and years and they're building and you might not hear about it until like 10 years down the road so that's the difference between the Scorpio Moon and the Scorpio Sun and the Scorpio Mars and Scorpio Venus. Venus is just going to be light. It's like the lightest touch. You just got touched with like a little drop of the Scorpio magic if you got the Scorpio Venus. Uh, you're attracted to it. You attract Scorpios. You're attracted to Scorpios. And um, 
the Mars is going to be the way that you move and operate in the world. It's going to be more secretive and you might not like let everybody know this Scorpio side of yourself because Scorpio is a secretive sign. But it's the sun because remember the sun wants to like shine brightly and the sun is like my friend Mina from Midnight Zero calls it like your own personal Leo. So like imagine a Leo doing all that they can to be like I'm a Scorpio. Imagine a Leo playing a Scorpio in a play. That's a Scorpio sun. A Scorpio sun wants you to know that they are a Scorpio, that they're hardcore and that they're not afraid of anything, that they've been through some shit and they don't recommend it. That's what Scorpio sun wants you to know. Scorpio moon, sometimes you might not even know that somebody's a Scorpio moon until like you look at their chart and then you look at the chart and you're just like, whoa, and you give them hard eyes. That is essentially what happens. You might not know, you might have somebody that you're friends with and they've had this like dark hidden emotion inside of themselves and you never would have known because again, Scorpio moon is very zip lip. Uh, oh, I didn't talk about the Scorpio rising. The Scorpio rising because the rising is the way that you see the world so they might not necessarily get into dangerous situations because it's not like uh, something very expressive because Scorpio is more um, internal and hidden so they might not glow with Scorpio brightness as the Scorpio Sun does but the Scorpio rising has a, a more of a tendency because it's more your physical appearance your obvious physical appearance they have that whole tendency of having that like resting bitch face and whenever I talk about Scorpio rising I always think about the Scorpio rising paradox if you're a Scorpio rising let me know in the comments what you think about this I think that the Scorpio rising paradox is wanting to connect intimately but being so petrified of being vulnerable and Scorpio rising you cannot have intimacy without vulnerability you need to be able to bear your soul to somebody in order to connect at that deep level that you want to connect and Scorpio rising people because they see the world as a, a dangerous place with all these people who want to mess with you and you're always on guard but you nonetheless want to experience a deep intimacy it's a very important part of your life experience of what you want to experience in life Scorpio rising but how are you going to do that if you're not able to be vulnerable it's very difficult it's easier if you're like dealing with a Pisces and I've always talked about this how Scorpio and Pisces people are attracted to, the, to each other for this reason I'll make a video later on talking about why um, but yeah like Scorpio rising is not gonna be as loud as the Scorpio Sun but it's nonetheless going to be there and what else so out of all of the Scorpio and Scorpio Mercury Scorpio Mercury you might notice in the things that they talk about it's 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 lighthearted because um, Mercury being mercurial it switches things up and is it's very like dualistic so because it could be nocturnal or diurnal so you might not readily recognize somebody who's a Scorpio Mercury unless you're like in a fight with them and then they like bring out the Scorpio like superpowers. I think a Scorpio um, Mercury is it's a powerful placement. All Scorpio placements are powerful in my opinion, but nonetheless. So that's today's video. I just wanted to talk a little bit about this and I've been preparing the Will Smith and Jada and August video and it ended up being like more like ended up being deeper than I thought because I at first I was just gonna do a simple synastry and I was just gonna talk to you guys about the synastry but then as I like went in and I was just like whoa like this is an important theme as when I talked about Ariana Grande and Mac Miller that was like a theme of like dependency and how sometimes people can enable you to hurt yourself and you know issues with drug addiction and all of that that was like the theme of that relationship and I feel like this relationship that I'm looking at now with Jada and Will has its own theme and I'm just like maybe I need to talk about the theme too and I'll just talk about the simple synastry because that would be like lazy work and I can't do that so I needed a video for today and this is something that I always get asked about who's more Scorpio so who's more Scorpio like who's more visibly Scorpio sun and rising they're more visibly Scorpio um, who loves most intensely Scorpio moon I recommend everybody to 
have a Scorpio moon in their life because fixed moons in general are going to be good and they're going to be they're fixed guys like they're they're gonna stick around for a long time and if that's important to you you have Taurus in your chart or have a lot of fixed energy aside from Aquarius if you have fixed energy look for a fixed moon they are worth double their worth their weight in gold um, and the Scorpio Sun is a very intensely Scorpio and you're gonna see it but sometimes oh we also talk about this me and me always talk about this too sometimes you have somebody with a water Sun like a Scorpio Sun and you think that they're deeply emotional and then they have like a light-hearted little a Gemini moon or a bunch of a bunch of air in their chart then it's like they have all of this promise of intense emotions and then they don't have the water to support it because it's just the sun it's just like what they're displaying it's it's kind of like a costume at that point uh, which doesn't have to be a bad thing because having a lot of water in your chart does mean that you're going to suffer more the more water that you have the more feelings you're going to experience and life can get kind of tricky and difficult when you have a lot of feelings going on because we don't live in a feelings sort of world. The world is made of structures, the world is Saturn, and even though we want to make it more acceptable to have feelings, we want to make the world more feminine place that accepts feelings, the world is still going to be structure. I think it's always going to, like, we, we can get a more to a more balanced place, but having a lot of feelings is always going to be dangerous in a world that is like full of sharp objects so I digress so that's a video for today guys I hope that you liked it I hope that you still got something out of it if you have any questions about this or any other topic make sure you leave them in the comments because I like to troll the comments for ideas and inspiration for future videos and I would really appreciate it if you gave me your opinions on today's video if you have any other questions that relate to this topic please let me know thank you for always being here don't forget to smash the like button for good luck and I'll see you in the next video